Good morning. Thank you for tuning to the Live Show where we are living live. Do you like public speaking? If so, we have a con we have a contest that you may find very interesting. What is a helicopter? Well, you know what a helicopter is, but what is a multi-copter? That sorry is on the way. I'm guessing that's four helicopters in one, but yeah. Um, weather up, uh, there's gonna be some rain, I think. Weather up next. We played against Freddy, uh, um, sorry, against Whitney, and find out the scores and more basketball after the break. All this much more. On the other side. We won. Burr, I'm cold. Where'd you get that jacket? Oh, at the studio store in Tetzloff. How much? Only $20. Get one before they run out. Okay, thanks. Burr, I'm cold. Where'd you get that jacket? At Tetzloff Academy in the studio store. Oh, how much? Only $20. Get one before they run out. Okay, thanks. I'm cold. Where did you get that jacket? At Tesla Academy in the studio store. How much? Only $20. Get one before they run out. Okay, thanks. Hey, where did you get that jacket? I got it at the studio store located at Tesla Academy. How much did it cost you? It cost me around 20 bucks, but sorry, they ran out. Oh my god, I should have went earlier. What's wrong, Jared? I don't have a flash drive. It's okay. You can get an 8 gigabyte for $12 at the studio store. Well, can I have yours? Well, if you don't have $12, then no. <laughs> Welcome back and now to the news. There will be an international society meeting today at lunch in room 307. Bring your lunch and please be prompt. The Cerritos Optimist Club is having their annual speech or rhetorical contest on February 16th and March 1st, 2012. The topic is how my optimism helps me overcome obstacles. For more information, if you would like to participate, see Ms. Noriega. Every Thursday this month, join students in playing lacrosse at lunch. You can find this exciting event going on in the North Field. Again, that's every Thursday at lunch. Time now to check out the talents around the world with Julianne. Hi, I'm Julianne Ramos with the World's Talents. Have you walked down the street and seen some guy playing the drums? Well, I bet that you haven't seen someone play this good. Check this guy out. Wow, he was amazing. I know I haven't seen a guy play that good. Well, we'll see you next week for the next World's Talents. Thank you, Julian. Time now across the globe and today is around the world. I'm Victoria. Good morning. Good morning, Adam. Just what exactly is a multi-copter? Did you ever wish you could fly an electric multi-copter? A multi-copter -cop are mechanical devices that are like helicopters except with 16 rotors. A one minute and thirty second flight proved that someday in the future it could be it could be possible to do tasks such as examining wind power generators and take bird eye view pictures. Because the sixteen rotors are in, on the side rather than the top, a parachute could be set up for the pilot's safety. The Evolo weighing only one hundred seventy six pounds makes it different from any other kind of helicopter. The controls are are similar than norm, normal helicopters. Sim Due to the joystick, future multi-copters will have multiple seats and may replace modern-day helicopters. That wraps the news around the world. Time now to go back to Tesla for the upcoming events. Thank you, Victoria. 
Looking at the pet vlog calendar, today is the Lunar Mom Day. Next, next week, Wednesday, it's Trojan Spirit Day, so wear your blue. Wednesday is also game day against Ross. Thursday's lunch activity is lacrosse. And Friday is college day and a minimum day. And that wraps up the ongoing events. Time now for your live five forecast. Finally Friday, that favorite day of the week where I get to sleep all weekend. Wait, yeah, there's the name. Everybody, and well, this is basically the map for today. I've been picking on the east side, so I'm going to go back to where we live. Not the east side, the west side. All right. In California, in Los Angeles, or LA, for the ghetto people, it's going to be 61 degrees, um, and Reno is going to be 56, and it's going to be raining. And then in Cut Bank, it's going to be 24, and Seattle it's going to be 46 with raining. And basically, the south is warm, the north is freaking cold. Let's go to the five-day forecast, because I just walked out of the map. Today is going to be 65 degrees, tomorrow is going to be 62 and raining. Sunday is going to be cloudy and Monday is going to be also cloudy with a chance of sun. And Tuesday is going to be 71 degrees. Let's go to Katrina with the wet pole. Oh, uh, thank you, Andres. For this week's wet pole, we have Bea with us. Good morning, Bea. Good morning, Katrina. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Well, could you please read this week's wet pole for us? Sure. Should the quad gates be open during school? Well, here's what you told us, Trojans. Yes. I think they should be open because there's more, like, it'll be more space. We actually don't open these gates here um, because I was talking to some other students today, actually, about when and where they can be. We want everybody to be where there's an adult, where there's supervision, so nothing bad happens to people when we can't see them. That's why we keep these gates locked, because we can't see people back there. What advantages would it provide? Getting to class earlier. It would help people get not being late to class. What problems would it cause? Mm, some eighth graders probably be stopping, be like, hey, you seventh grader, you too small, you scrub, you gotta go around. That's what I say. When should the quad gates be open? At lunch and nutrition, probably. Before lunch. What advantages would it provide if the gates were open? I don't know what advantages they, they would provide. I know we've got four minutes to get from class to class, um, and that's plenty of time to get where people need to go. So I don't think there would be any advantages for keeping them open. Here are the results for this past week's web poll. 95% of you guys said yes, more space, 5% of you guys said no, and 0% of you guys said I don't know. Well, here's our new question for next week. Do you think Trojans should be able to eat in class? <laughs> well, we want to hear from you. Be sure to visit online at lightandvibeshow.com to vote. Send your comments to web poll, and if it's good, we'll be on the air. So, Bea, should students be able to eat in class? Yes. How come? Because some people might get hungry. They didn't eat lunch or anything? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, I agree. Well, I'd like to give a shout out to Jessica. I'd like to give a shout out to Aliana, Cherka, and Eunice. Well, <laughs> thanks for coming on our show today, Bea. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Well, it's time now to go to a live class sports update. Thank you, Katrina. Well, there aren't going to be any football games till Sunday, and I'm glad to announce that Tetzloff won Wednesday's basketball game against Whitney 23-18. But it's the total opposite with the Lakers being beaten by Heat 98-87. Yeah, the Rockets end up get, beating the Hornets 90-88. And that was really, that was like a really close score. And last but not least, the Mavericks beat Jazz 94-91. And that's all for today's sports. Back to you, Adam. Thank you, Bea. Time now to touch on today's Daily 411. How old was Marty?
Martin Luther King Jr. when he died. 34 years old, 39 years old, 42 years old, or 45 years old? Take five. She was 39 years old. And the answer is? 39? Yes, now you owe me $3. It's about -uh. time. No, -uh. yeah. I said he was pretty young. 39 is still young. No, you said oh, 34, geez. though. So, I would like to give a shout like out to Daisy numbers. and Daisy. And I would like to give a shout out to the Team Tomas Quick Science team. Yay. And I have no one to give a shout out to. I'd like to give a shout out to Bear Wait. that was just on the web pool. Ricardo so Perez. Mean. There we go. You go. Ariana Ford, too. All right, all right. All right. Across the, oh, wait, what? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> well, that's it for today. To watch it, broadcast online, lionfyshow.com. So follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Lion Fly Show. That's all for our show today. Have a great day, and we'll see you back here on Monday. Still no. Furthermore, I apologize for any skipping tracks. This is the last girl that played me left a couple cracks. I used to, used to, used to, used to, now I'm over that. Cause holding grudges over love is ancient artifacts. If I could only find a note to make you understand, I'd sing it softly in your ear and grab you by the hands. Keep me stuck inside your head like your favorite tune. And know my heart's a stereo, the only place for you.